didn't point this out, I told a few people. This is the first time I've ever done this, ever, anywhere. So I've only ever embarrassed my wife in private before now. But a uh, few of you may know me as Numpty from Twitter or Reddit. Um, Tony Shadwick from Facebook. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not good with internet and vulgar terms. Um, they seem to be very, very prolific in language. Nobody really holds their French when they're on the internet. Um, and this becomes a problem for me because I'm actually a moderator on Reddit and a subreddit that embarrasses the crap out of me. I hate, hate saying the name of it. You killed it? No, no, I'm not a moderator in jail, babe. <laughs> so, they closed that subreddit down months ago. Um, no, the name of the subreddit, and please don't hate me, the name of this is Fitness Circle Jerk. <laughs> and the problem I have with this, and just any other vulgar terms, really, is that I get a mental image that goes along with the term that is very literal. <laughs> so of course in this case, the image I get is a bunch of guys lacing up their shoes, taking off their best gym clothes, <laughs> standing in a circle around a Gene Simmons dressed guy, <laughs> and one, and two, and one. <laughs> no. No, 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 and one, sorry, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just not good with fruit terms in general, um, man, I, I hate saying swear words, and another term that bugs the heck out of me, I don't see it as much anymore, but anal retentiveness. <laughs> Holy crap, really? <laughs> um, when I'm at dinner, and we're talking about how picky you are about the way you clean your home, I do not need to hear about your sphincter. Please, no. Um, but yeah, even just the F-bomb. Uh, I've made people very unhappy with me on the internet in the past. Um, not everyone agrees with you online. I don't know if you've noticed this. Um, but somebody will reply to me because they don't like something I've said and they go, Hey, fuck you, man! No! I don't wanna! You can at least buy me dinner first, maybe some wine, candlelight. Hey, where are you going? I thought we were getting in. No, no, no. Don't want any part of it. And then, I, I've been moderator in other places than Reddit. Uh, 2K Sports, you may have heard of them, they're a video game company. Um, I was a football moderator on their site, and it is populated largely by 11-year-old children. Every single one seems to have copulated with my dead mother. <laughs> and they're not afraid to tell me about it. And it gets me in trouble. Um, as for other things going on, oh, yes. So, the other problem with my innocent mind syndrome, if you will, uh, I didn't really drink all that much until I met my wife. <laughs> what was I saying about being literal? Um, it's her fault, but not the reason you're thinking. Maybe. Um, so yeah, uh, she can drink me under the table. She absolutely can. It's pretty easy when one glass of wine has me feeling like the room is thin. It does not take much. So, a few days ago, I had some problems. The problem was, we took a bottle of wine to the concert. I had two glasses of wine. I also had a glass of beer. I also had a rum punch. I also had a mojito. Yeah! And amazingly, I felt more or less okay. I mean, I, I knew what it was like to feel tipsy and drunk. That wasn't new. What was new, was the fact that even though I thought I was in control of my cognitive processes, I wasn't. And what I mean by this is I excused myself from dinner to go to use the restroom. Which is fine. Until I got to the restroom door and said, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you 
in and say, excuse me, door. I'm sure no one's asked you this before, but may I get by? <laughs> and that would have been fine if it was the end of it. I told my wife about it. Yeah, I'm drunk. Keep an eye on me. But no, that wasn't the end of it. We had to go to the coffee house to get a late night snack before we went back to our state room. Um, anybody have a cutesy voice that they use whenever they're dealing with little kids? You know, higher pitched voice and that whole deal. There was a little kid in there. And my thing when I'm dealing with little kids, my first response is almost always the same. Oh, hi! Which is fine. Fine, except that the kid that I'm referring to was across the room dealing with the waiter. The old man standing in front of me putting cream in his coffee, however, was just a touch confused. When I hear this little kid talking, says something that makes me feel like he's getting my attention, and right to the old man in front of me, I go, oh, hi! And then realize immediately what I had just done. So now I'm trying very hard to pretend like, no, I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to this thing of creamer over here. <laughs> Not, not good. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not real good with the caffeine. But uh, what I'll leave you with is a part of my personality. I have the nickname Numsky. I've had it for years and years and years, since 1993. And I lived up to that nickname for a long time. But part of what goes into that is the fact that my sense of judgment, people don't always trust it. I, I could rip on that for hours, but what it drew me to was, um, we're nerds here. Are uh, you guys familiar with the uh, Heisenberg general, um, uh, general Principle of Uncertainty? Yeah, 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 a little bit. Awesome. It's nice to be in a room with nerds. So I don't have to explain this much. To those that aren't aware of it, it's a simple idea that a particle, an object, if it is in motion, all particles are in motion. You cannot both know accurately its velocity and location. It's moving, you can't know exactly where it is, right? Well, non-nerds, explaining that is hard. So I have Numsky's general principle of uncertainty. And it goes as follows. If you ask me a question, and I give you an answer, and then you reply with, are you sure? My answer is always, no. Um, this is great for your marriage, by the way. <laughs> Give it up for Karen Chadwick, by the way. Um, Tony, are you ready to leave? Yes. Are you sure? No. <laughs> does not. Does not go over well. Um, I believe. I have reached the end of my set, and I've probably gone over my time limit. So I appreciate everyone being so kind. Thank you very much, Tony. We've got Jeff Johnson coming up, but first, let me do some 